Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to Mod Explosion on the Beach Block server. I'm here at RB's base. Um, I actually just got done swapping out. I changed the sign. It, it was on top of the chest. It said for JT. Now it says for RB. And inside I placed some copper essence seeds, uh, or clippings rather, and I took the tin essence that he left for me. Um, so we swapped. So I've been uh, working on those... Uh, Agricraft, uh, and I'm a blaze, that's why I don't have a hand. Uh, been working on those Agricraft uh, magical crops uh, to get um, some materials built up. I honestly been thinking about it. I'm not sure that I'm going to do a quarry. I may, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I, I'm going to go back home, but let me show you something first. Um, my journey map is a little uh, out of sorts. Uh, all the area I had uncovered is gone. I had to reinstall my uh, my game. Um, because I had some issues with my laptop uh, this past weekend. Um, but anyway, uh, I did set world spawn. Oh, I need to set RB's place on here before I leave. All right, guys, here we are back at the base. And um, I think last time I had that second windmill up there, um, I enclosed our water wheel that I believe I started last time. I really should start re-watching my last episodes before I start recording. Um, but what we're going to do right now, uh, also, this inventory mess is from trying to find RB's place again. I actually had uh, come across um, some of these meteors, which we have a lot of meteors landing. Uh, not in our area, because we have this uh, shield, which I need to actually look at. Oh, my word. Look at that. All that good stuff. We're going to take that. Um, they... I don't know if this is just something new or if they've always done it and you have to find it within a certain time, but I found two of them that landed whole, like they hadn't shattered all over the area, and it's just like a little uh, uh, three by three cube of the gray block that that they come with that uh, that gives you these meteor chips, and then. Um, there's a water block, a couple glowstone blocks, uh, a few Krechnerite blocks, or one or two. And in the middle is a chest with some goodies. That's where I got these two chest pieces, that gold ingot. Um, but yeah, I actually pulled the chests out. Um, the one, I, uh, well, I just got all that red meteor stuff from there, but I got some of that I had from uh, the other the meteors. Um, so anyway, all right, let's get down here and land. I want to morph back into myself and walk around a little bit instead of flying. Um, I just broke my torch. Uh, let's see, I don't have one handy here, so let's just use that one. Alright, so um, I haven't done a whole lot with these things yet as far as getting more fluid in there. Uh, now, I did redo the farm down here a little bit. I've got my headset turned up really loud. Let me adjust that. There we go. Um, now I don't hear myself echoing in my head. Um, I moved our seed analyzer and trash can down here to do our magical crop breeding with, uh, with the agricraft stuff. And I took all the wheat and potatoes out of here and moved them into here. Um, so now I can come in here, I can harvest all the wheat, uh, which will give me seeds, and uh, the potatoes, which I use, obviously I use the seeds and the potatoes to make the, the biodiesel in those machines we had from before. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to get this on a harvester at some point. I actually have the materials to do it. I just have to take the time to set it up. Those things, I'm just going to leave there. I've got a little, you know, 16 plants there, 4x4, four four, uh, the hemp, industrial hemp seeds. I don't really need any more industrial hemp right now until I go to make another um, windmill. That's it. <laughs> I can't remember anything now um all right so uh why is that not pumping out oh okay now it's going all right so it's good so now it can come over here and then it'll make us some uh other stuff yeah and this is going to keep filling just because this well now it shouldn't be it should be going oh no wait that's yeah, that's ethanol. Okay, now it's coming down. All right. All right. Anyway, so yeah, it's going to make some more of that. Um, 
Magical crops. I changed a couple of these out. We have a uh, row of diamonds, row of uh, fluic seeds, which I'm going to be getting into hopefully the end of this episode, the very tail end. We might get into a little bit of applied energistics. Probably not much um, today, but next episode probably more so. Um, uh, we have a couple dye crops, some quartz, some glowstone. I reduced the coal to three plants, added... Um, three copper and now we are going to give it three tin uh, right here on the end and these are all ten 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 seeds and RB gave us nine so I gave him nine copper but um, the uh, I only need the three at least for now my this setup will change eventually when we get everything moved over there um, at some point uh, but yeah I got the row of iron and dirium some redstone uh, a little bit of dirt down there at the end um, gold and the manikio uh, obviously so yeah there there's where I'm at on that um, so I'm just gonna go in here put some stuff away I've got some materials going um, and then we are going to actually take this stuff out of here and let me toss these in here real quick I don't need those at the moment but um, and we're gonna set that machine up I'll show you what that's gonna be here in just a second all right guys so here is our next structure I made a little spot up here for it right near the power so we can just plug it right in but we have light engineering blocks uh, some scaffolding on the ground uh, with some engineering blocks here in the middle and up through the center a bunch of hoppers on top steel fences around and uh, couple engineering blocks on the end and I believe to turn this into an actual machine we right click here no fence oh there we go right click on that all right so now we have us a crusher um, and I have no idea how it works <laughs> so let's look at the book um, all right so first of all uh, processing power is determined by the or processing speed is determined by the power supplied um, da, 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 applying a redstone signal to the control panel at the front will halt the crusher's process formed by clicking the central block on the front. The front is the wide side of the structure. It has a light engineering block at the bottom. I know that. Um, where do I put power in? I guess that's for the redstone. Okay, that block right there. That block right there looks like power. Okay, so let's go grab us some wire. I actually meant to bring it and totally forgot. Now there's <laughs> really, I, I don't know that I actually have a purpose for making this right now other than I wanted to. Um, hmm. Why do you go up there instead of down there? That doesn't make a bit of sense. Can I go on top? No, I don't. Okay, so I've right-clicked on it everywhere, and I don't see an interface anywhere, but I did find this uh, connector on top of this side, um, and I set another power pole up here and just connected off of that. Um, so, yeah, it's it's full on charge now. Didn't take long at all uh, since I got that water wheel going and the two windmills, it does okay. Um, so I want to try it out real quick. Um not sure how much of this I'll need, but I got an idea of what I'm going to throw in there. Now I actually need to make this <laughs> same thing on my, uh, well, no I don't. Um, I was going to say on my uh, Feed the Beast Infinity Skyblock, um, Infinity Evolved Skyblock Expert Mode thing. Um, so if I just throw that in there, what's it do? Nothing. So, how do I put stuff in it? Whoop, that doesn't work. And this is going to take a second. Alrighty, guys. So, I figured this out. We stand up here and we can just throw blocks right into this thing. And it just chews them up. Now, I actually already got a chest down here. And it's just going to spit that stuff out. And that's really loud, so we're going to go over here now. <laughs> um, okay. Now, I actually already recorded that once. Um, obviously, that's why I already had the chest there. Um, and I 
messed that up. I <laughs> hit the record, didn't hit the record button right or something. I don't know. But um, I already got ahead, went ahead and got the blocks for the next machine we're going to put together. Um, and uh, let's see. We're going to start with, I think, that one there. Now, where I'm going to put this? Uh, probably right here for now. Um, the only thing is, to draw power out of it, <laughs> uh, one, I'm going to need something to store a lot more power. Two, I'm going to need higher voltage wires um, and higher voltage um, energy storage. I'm not going to get into that today. Um, let me see. I'll tell you what. Let's do... Um, let's do this. Now, these radiator blocks that I just finished placing, um, those are made um, very much like uh, these, uh, or no, actually, I'm sorry, they're not made like the generator blocks. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Um, here, let me bring this immersive. Okay. Um, the generator blocks, um, which I still have in my inventory, are um, a kinetic dynamo, which I think we've looked at before, um, along with uh, some uh, steel or refined iron and electrum ingots. And you get two of those per recipe, so you only got to make three kinetic dynamos to make the machine we're making. Um, and then the other block we need is this radiator block, which is um, steel, copper, um, four steel, four copper, and a water bucket gives you two radiator blocks. So you do have an extra radiator block left, but we're probably going to have more than one of this machine going um, at uh, a stinking misplaced another block. Um, another one of these machines going before all is said and done. So let's just place this here. Most of you probably already know what we're doing. Um, but this is, again, just like the rest of this, most of this immersive engineering stuff, this is the first time that I have, <laughs> bad for the environment, that I have done this. And now we have us a diesel generator. And that's a really big stinking engine. And you know what would be really cool is to actually build that inside of a large chassis that looked like a truck. That would be awesome. <laughs> you could even build a probably a pistronics hood over it and everything else that raced oh man now i have to try that okay so we put fuel into right here um power goes out through these three things up uh you know up to three of them uh any any just one or three it splits the power it outputs 4098 um uh ticks let me go grab actually uh, I probably don't have enough pipe to get up there. I, I'm positive I don't. Um, let's see. I have, well, I have ten. That'll get me started. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pipe uh, some of this stuff up to there. Um, where is my shovel? So let's see. Let's do, oh wait, that goes, hmm. I'm not sure how that's going to work. We may be piping this above ground. Yeah, let's just pipe it above ground. Okay, so here's this. Um, let's go... Yeah, let's just go up. We can we can do this. Go up. Whoops. Let's get that back. Okay. Let's go up here. I think, yeah, we're good. We can get across that. All right, so I'll have to make some more pipe. We'll bring it down, run it along here. I'm actually going to throw some dirt down just so it's it's going to actually sit on it. Oh, you know what? I can't do that because of my wall. I don't want to be able to... Something to climb up there like that. Um... That's okay there. I could add more blocks around it, but that's all right. Anyway, I'll make more pipes, run it over here, plug it into this, and uh, we'll get some power output um, going and uh, some uh, 
higher capacity or higher higher tiered energy storage um, for next episode. What I want to look at right now, and I already had it actually in my uh, uh, thing here in my NEI a second ago. I had a comment on the last video asking me to look into Ars Magica. Now, I've looked at the NEI um, pretty briefly, actually. I have no idea what to do with any of this. There is one item that I do have the ability to make, um, and I think it's on the third page right here. Now, I don't know about some of this other stuff. I haven't really looked it up too much, but I can make this. I have a blue topaz and gold nuggets, so that's easy. So I am going to go make that right now. Um, I will have to do some research and actually really look into this mod to be able to do anything else with it, though, because I don't have the slightest idea. Um, yeah, because we've just about got all the big stuff built in immersive engineering. It's just going to be a matter of... Um, okay. What's this do? I can right click on the ground with it. Hmm. I can left click with it. Let's see. Um. I wonder what it does to mobs. Nope. Okay, I don't know what this does, so I'm going to kill the spider before it hurts me too bad. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to definitely look into that mod some more to figure out what I'm supposed to do with the stuff in it. Um, that's, <laughs> that's the first piece of Ars, Ars Magica uh, uh, stuff that I've ever made. Um, but yeah, I found this evil looking book that you, you use a wooden leg, which I can make that. That's simple. A stick, a slab, and a um, plank. But you mix it with this arcane compendium, and it does not tell me how to make that at all. So, yeah, I don't know where to get that. Maybe a village? I'm not sure. Um, wait, what's this book here? Journal. Sneak. I can store XP in that book. That's awesome. How do you make an arcane essence? It doesn't tell me. I'm sure that other book tells me, but I don't know how to get it. Um, we have an arcane spell book, which I cannot make. Um, yeah, there's just... There's an inscription table. There's an inscription table upgrades. You know what? Okay, wait a minute. Inscription table, tier 1, tier 2 upgrade, tier 1 upgrade. Let's look at that. Maybe I can make an inscription table. Torch of feathers, slabs, and planks. How do I make a spell parchment? Paper and two sticks. You know what? Do I even have the ability to make paper? That makes a book. I have to, How do I make paper besides sawdust and water? Sugar cane. I don't have sugar cane. Water, stick, and quicklime. I'm not sure how you get quicklime. Smelt calcite crystal how do you get that okay you know what might be just eat wait a minute okay i know what that calcite stuff is um i'm not going to worry about that right now um all right i'll tell you what i'm going to play with that stuff a little bit um between now and next episode i did look at it as i said said i would in the comment i said i'd look into it i have i will probably start working on that a little bit um i need to figure out what block i want to use to build um our tower over there that we're going to do. Um, haven't decided yet. Uh, uh, let's see. Got some more stuff going in here. I need to... I really need to make a sorting system. Okay. Real quick. We're going to take a peek at uh, the AE. Um, I have... Uh, let's see. I have some flukes crystals. Oh, that's why I wanted to make... That's that's why I wanted to make the crusher. <laughs> I remembered. I remembered why I wanted to make the crusher. All right. So let's go up here. And I'm actually going to put 
a little platform up here so that I can walk out and I'm going to just kind of toss these in there those grind a lot quicker than obsidian four fluix dust oh what did where's he at oh he's in there okay here goodbye all right so <laughs> yeah i needed the flux dust oh i forgot to close my gate hold on okay so the reason i needed to make uh the flux dust is to make these flux seeds so that i can uh, make pure flux crystal because if i go to applied energistics okay um i need to make a controller so to get that i need the pure flux crystals right so to get that, I need a uh, drop of flux seed made from flux dust and sand into a puddle of water to make the process faster. Add crystal growth accelerators. I'm not going to worry about the crystal growth accelerators right now. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to take my bucket of water and fill this back up because I emptied it earlier. And I'm just going to toss those in there. Um, and those will very slowly, you can see a little particle effect there. Um, those will very, very slowly grow. Um, and then I will be able to pick them up. Um, but I will uh, sit here and wait for those off camera. And um, check and see how much recording time I've gotten done here. And then uh, probably be right back uh, if only for just a second. Alright guys, so I made a little rearrangement here. Um, I started to run a line underground to run power over to a couple crystal growth accelerators around that thing because it just was taking forever um i decided against that i moved the whole thing back here <laughs> uh dug all this out we put the crystal growth accelerators in here we made an energy acceptor um i have actually the uh, quartz seeds in here um, and they're done and ready to go um, i worked a little bit on uh a uh, Certus Quartz Essence Seed um, that's down there. It's about eh, not quite halfway done. Um, I think I have four on the on two of the. Actually, I think I did get a seed that's five four four. So yeah, about halfway done. Uh, getting that one up to a ten ten ten. Um, so I have this recipe thing in here, and we're just gonna go like that. And there is our me controller. Um, I am going to set that. Uh, I think I might make an upgrade for that half and move the stuff over. Um, so I'm going to set this on top of here for right now. Um, yeah, actually, let's just do this. I need to make a... Uh, what's it called? I need a panel thing. Uh, control inter interface uh, terminal okay there's an interface terminal there's a regular terminal okay um, I actually like to make a crafting terminal which takes a regular terminal a calculation processor and a crafting table um, now to get the regular terminal we need a illuminated panel of some sort uh, formation and annihilation cores and a logic processor um, so the, uh, let's start with the panel, uh, go to that panel, okay, three quartz glass, two glowstone, a redstone, and an iron. That, that, and that is a illuminated panel. And then we take that, actually, I don't think we need to do anything else with that for the moment. Crafting terminal, dark terminal, okay, so we need a logic processor, which is a printed logic circuit, silicon, and a redstone. So we need to get our logic press, or lo logic press, can't talk, and we need a silicon press. I'm actually going to go ahead and process a few of these silicone things. Um, so what we do is we throw the silicon press in there, and we wait for that to finish. And I'm going to do this a few times and be right back. Okay, I went ahead and grabbed a gold uh, ingot because we're going to actually take 
our silicone press out, put a logic press in, and put the gold ingot in, and that will give us one piece that we need. I need a redstone. Okay, there's that. All right, now we take this press out. We click that up there, the redstone, and then the printed silicon, and that's going to give us a logic processor. All right, so there's that part. Now, let's throw that in there. Now, we need those cores. Formation core is, oh, we got to make another logic processor. We need a flux dust and a Certus Quartz crystal. Okay, I think I have... No, I don't. All right, we're going to make some more Certus Quartz, uh, or some more Fluix Dust. Um, actually, I'm just going to do it in the pulverizer, since it's right there. I made a pulverizer because I could not get that Nether Quartz out of the crusher. Unfortunately, it made this stuff right here, Quartz Dust for Immersive Engineering, and the only thing it is good for is this. Um, that That's literally it it's for making file cartridges i i yeah i don't know <laughs> um i'll keep them for now but we'll see um all right so let's see here i want to make this terminal now i think i'm also going to have to have uh me drive and storage solution before i can actually store anything in there um but we're gonna make sure um all right so i'm gonna make a couple more of those uh logic processors and we will go from there. Um, actually, here's what's the conversion monitor. I don't know. So formation core is a logic processor, and that and that, and an annihilation core is nether quartz, flux dust, and a logic processor. Okay, so I'm also going to need this um, nether quartz. Might have been able to use the dust. I don't know. So let me grab some gold and some redstone, make some logic processors, and I will be right back. All right. So here is our annihilation core, and what I do with it? That is our formation core. So then we take those and we put one here and one here, and we get us an ME terminal, which we are going to plop right on that guy and that did not do what I expected it to do okay let's try throwing a cable on that through that there and through that there ah we have access to stuff can we put okay we don't have storage on there yet so we can't put anything in there so we need to make an ME drive um, so let's take a look at that real quick. And that is two engineering processors, which is basically the same thing we did, except for we used diamonds in an, in an engineering press, um, much the same way we made the logic processor. And then two glass flukes cable and an iron ingot. Um, all right, and then we're going to have to have a storage card or cell. So I think what we need here, there, rather, is... Um, where is, here we go, 1K ME storage cell, um, two quartz glass, three redstone, three iron, and then this 1K ME storage component, which is another logic processor, um, four charged Certus quartz, actually, can I use regular Certus quartz? Yes, I can, um, and four redstone, so I'm going to make all that stuff and set it up right here and be right back. Alrighty, and there we have us a 1K ME storage cell and a drive that is online. And now we can store our stuff in here. Thank goodness. <laughs> now, that thing is going to fill up quick, but I'm actually just going to take all the things out of here. And I'm going to put them all into this system from, oops, give me my pick back. I want to hold on to that. <laughs> Let's throw all the rest of this in there. All right, in that chest too. What the heck? All right, so how full is our drive? We have 174 bytes used and 20 types used. So yeah, I'm going to have to make more of that stuff, uh, bigger drives and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we have storage now. <laughs> and that cat is annoying me. I'm going to have to go... And 
Sorry, it was annoying me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we got that going. Um, I'll probably I'll hook that up next time. Um, or well, I haven't hooked up by next time. I think I I hope I have a lot of stuff I want to do between now and next episode. I want to look more into Ars Magica as promised. I want to um, get those drives going. I want so I have storage. I want to get everything into the ME system, and then I want to. Uh, like I said, get more power storage built up here. Um, figure out what we're going to do to start that tower. Uh, figure out what material I want to use. Um, debating just using these things. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do like them, but yeah. Uh, so I want to, yeah, I've got so many things I need to get going here. Um, just don't even know where to start. But I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check out this uh, mod pack on the public server at play.beachblock.net. Um, should have announced that probably at the beginning of the video. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, when you get the pack on the AT launcher, uh, yeah, you know, just look in the video description below for instructions, basically. Um, it's going to be the simplest way I can tell you. Um, but I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a comment in the video with your in-game Minecraft name. Um, or you can also uh, email me. Uh, I believe my email... Well, my email is on my uh, About page on my YouTube channel. Um, so you can email me there if you'd rather email me your Minecraft name rather than post it in public comments. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll get you hooked up with a subscriber kit um, if you should choose to play on the server so um yeah uh see you guys next time thank you so much for watching and uh i'll try to <laughs> try to make the next episode a little more focused and not as chaotic but we'll see you next time bye bye Always close your gate. Don't let creepy crawlies in. <laughs>